Welcome to episode four of Fire and Snow. I am Maysoon Zayed and this is... Hey Russell! It's snow. No, which is the whole point of it. I am Snow. <laughs> and uh, Allie's all stoked right now because of her... I got my nails did. <laughs> she risked her life to get her nails did and now she's going to tell us the story of um, what that looked like. Um, so they have a, gla a, a plexiglass shield and then you wear a shield with your mask and they have a little shield with a mask and they, you just put your hands in this little slot and they do the nails there and it was pretty- It reminds me of these but, stories they used to have in uh, New York City in Times Square before um, <laughs> Disney came and you would put 25 cents in a slot and then you'd put something else in a slot. It wasn't your nails. It was something else. You put a little coin in. And it was a little less hygienic, but yeah. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that I risked my life for in COVID was I went and got my eyebrows done. So, they look good too. Thank you. Yeah. Magical touch salon. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I know. Um, <laughs> When we were in Austria, I was in Austria with Ali, and um, they took her eyebrow off. So it's really yeah. nice for me to be like, look, they're perfect. Um, yeah. They're perfect because they grew completely back in during the quarantine. So I was like Frida Kahlo and Bert from Sesame Street's <laughs> Love Child. So she had a lot to work with. But it's literally <laughs> the only like public place I've gone to. So I've gone to yeah. no other, like I don't go to stores. I haven't gone to like a dentist or no. I did go get a COVID test, but it was like outdoors. I didn't have to actually go into like a clinic. Yeah. So the only time I risked my life was on June nineteenth. I had my first official virtual show. It was Family Cafe, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm willing to die for two eyebrows instead of one." So yeah. <laughs> it's the price we pay for beauty, man. <laughs> Cyrus. Yes, but everybody has to be careful and wear masks. And yes. Like, yeah. Wear it was actually a moment of weakness. I'm not encouraging this. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm trying to say, too. Like, I risked my life for my eyebrows. Yeah, yeah. I'd be in the coffin and they'd be like, the house is amazing. And yeah. you'd be like, it wasn't worth it. Um, so, in episode two, we began telling the story of Cliff who we talk about in our episodes sometimes, and you choose to refer to him as your lover, which is the same way that Trump refers to Peter Strzok and Lisa Page. And to be honest, it makes me go. It's, it's a little cringy. It's cringy, it's cringy, because <laughs> you're like, she'll just watch this. Um, but when we left off the story, Cliff and you were working together at a non-alcoholic Mormon dance club called Leon Lee, where glow sticks and karaoke and leopard pants were involved. And he, a Mormon, chose to give you up for Catholic Lent. Then yeah. what happened? It was, it was a tragedy. So just before this on Valentine's Day, we had decided that it would be a good idea to get piercings together. So he had got his nipples done and I had done my belly button. Also something I would not advise. Uh, and then he gives me up for Lent. And so then I go, to help with my grandfather on the rental homes. He's like, what can I do for you as I pour my heart out to my grandfather and tell him the tragedy of my love. Did you life. tell your grandfather about the nipple rings? No. He would have been impressed though. That's what <laughs> <laughs> so, so he's like, what do you want to do? And I was like, I got to leave the country. So he got me, he helped me get a job down in Mexico City. So I went down to Mexico City and wouldn't you know, that my piercing got infected. And I looked down at it and I thought, just like our love. <laughs> I think that's a so. good place to leave it this week. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. Leave it with your infected belly button piercing south of the border. I know. And somehow 18 years Also later, talk about my lack of hygiene. <laughs> no, no. You, it's you impossible. Are, you are one of the cleaner people. I know. Let's let's be let's be honest. It's me that yeah, yeah. I do like showers, I <laughs> drinks, just, or hand I washing. Don't, I don't understand why a better mode of shower hasn't been developed. And I think the problem is this: I grew up watching a show called The Jetsons, and they had this great <laughs> shower system where you went in and it was like a car wash. It like scrubbed you, 
it speed dried you and it got you dressed. I'm like, I just, it's such a big production. It's like so much work. And so, do you, you like to turn it on? Today? I'm doing J Lo. I love it. You can have sparkles, you have bows, you it's glitter. America is sweltering hot today. It's, it's so <laughs> hot here too. Yeah, it's hotter than a crystal ball. So we got one question. People who watch Fire and Snow, and apparently there's like 5,000 of you, yay, go us. Um, this is the most successful thing I've ever done. Thank you, Allie. It's a white woman to make it work. Um, you're my white savior. So we got one question, and the person asked, what was our advice on dating? So I feel like we have a live advice and that this should kind of be a weekly segment, but like yeah. this will be your first, like your integral piece of advice. Do you want me to go first or you? Yeah, you go first. Okay, I'll go first. Don't spend tons of money on guys to impress them. I had a really bad habit of buying guys I like stuff. And one time I bought a guy a car and he literally drove off into the sunset um, in said car. Um, so don't buy guys stuff to make them like you. That's, that's, a really, that's really good advice. Although let them buy you really expensive stuff. That's my advice. Yeah. And, and, and go for gold. Don't go for bling. It's the gold that keeps it's it. It's the gold. Price. Great exchange rate, <laughs> just like your love <laughs> comes at a great exchange rate. Um, so my bit of advice is to not date, to go on adventures. So instead of like the hype with like going out to dinner and a movie, like go on adventures with each other. That's when you see people's true colors. What's an example of an adventure? Uh, getting piercings for Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'm trying to think like what adventure. I would take mine to a war zone just to see like, can you hang? You know, like I've been shot. Why are you crying? Why don't you go to death? That's what I would. My adventure would be like, we're going to Caracas. <laughs> just carry this bag. Um, I I have to go. We have to go. We were. Oh, uh, I know. Let's do a speed round. Okay. <laughs> Favorite film? Dating. Oh, that's one thing I did with May Soon. We made a pact back in the day that we were- went speed dating. That's a whole different show. We have to go with 859. Favorite we did that. Movie. What's your okay. favorite movie? My favorite movie is, uh... oh shoot, that's a hard one. Mine's The Outsiders. Based oh, on- that is a good one. Buffy, yeah. Matt Dillon. Twilight. <laughs> Twilight. <Is that> person? <laughs> <laughs> theme song of your life the theme song of my life uh you are my sunshine nice my this is the perfect way to end this episode of fire and snow because you're a snow and i am fire and you just said you are my sunshine and my theme song is gray street by dave matthews band which the line is all the colors mix together to gray and they break her heart. So you are my sunshine and I am Gray Street. And this was episode four of Fire and Snow. We always love in the comments if you ask us for advice or tell us to talk about a topic and uh, share it with your friends. And we end every episode with Allie singing like a bird and me struggling to stop the record button, which I guess the non-palsy person should be doing, but because I handle all the tech, is actually better at it. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good to do it. So, uh, Allie, I'll see you next Friday. All right. For five, where we'll find out what happened with the infected belly <laughs> button and the lover cliff. And um, I will dissuade people from joy in the way that I, I am known to do. Take it away, Allie. All right. You are my sunshine. <laughs> sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray.